I think. <gasps> oh my god, you guys! <gasps> oh my god! Did he just kill her? Welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. In this episode, we are going to do several things. First thing we're gonna do, we're going to have a proposal, and then we're also going to have a birthday party. We're gonna age up Prince Cornelius, Princess Arya, and King Edmund of Willow Creek. And then we're also gonna get to focus on Amira and Mikhail a little bit too, so it's gonna be super, super fun. So if you're looking forward to this episode, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that like button, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications, and let's go ahead and play the Royal Family. Okay, so yes, we are at the Palace of Brindleton Bay. So it's already winter, you guys. And I did not expect it to be winter so quickly. I thought we were still gonna be in fall, but look how pretty the Brindleton Bay Palace is in the winter time. It, oh, okay, it's missing a top. But oh my gosh, it is so pretty, you guys. I love this palace so, so much. So I do want Johan to propose to Lady Sidira because they have been together for quite a while now and it's more of like an arranged marriage and they know that, but like they get along really well and Johan thinks he could actually fall in love with Sidira and his parents are getting a little bit older. Actually, you know what, Jared, oh, Jared should be turning into an elder soon, actually. I just, I just realized that. So yeah, King Jared should be turning into an elder. So he really wants grandchildren, you guys. And I know some people were saying because with King Jared, he like gave up the throne of Oasis Springs, but it ended up being the King of Brindleton Bay. And he did that because of Queen Nina, who was a commoner. So then people were saying like, it was not fair that Jared would make his child be in an arranged marriage, like make uh, Johan do it. But like he had to promise King George of Windenburg, which is King Henry the Fourth's father, so he had to promise him that that his heir would marry one of King George's grandchildren. So it was kind of a big thing. So basically, uh, King Jared sacrificed, or no, yeah, he sacrificed his own child so he could be with who he loved, which is pretty selfish, not gonna lie. But I mean, I don't know. That's just how it worked. It seemed fine at the time. I didn't even think about it for like the future, but it's fine. Because you know what? Johan is actually like, likes Sidira a lot. So this is, oh, she's already here. So yes, Johan is still obviously upset about the whole May situation. He was in love with Princess May and then she died suddenly and it was hard for him to get over it. But Sidira and Johan, like Sidira is the first person that Johan has felt like kind of understands him and is like, willing to talk to him about it. Like, obviously she was sad too. Sidira is actually, or was, May's cousin. Also, this is a Lord Ian. So Prince James actually needs to tell Lord Ian that his parents just gave him their blessing. So he needs to ask him to be his boyfriend. James and Ian, they have been together for a very long time. Actually, yeah, actually a pretty long time. Longer than Sidira and Johan have been together. But since they haven't been like super public about the relationship. I think they want to like be public about the relationship before they actually get married. So probably going to be a little bit more time before they get engaged, but oh, okay, okay, good. Okay. So now they're officially dating and now they're officially public. So uh, Ian just said yes. So now they are officially together. So yeah, they'll probably get engaged later if things go well with them. So, okay. So Johan, I kind of want to propose in the snow, you guys. It's just so gorgeous outside. I think that he should propose to Sidira outside in front of the castle. It would, oh gosh, that's gonna make like gorgeous pictures. Okay, so Johan is now talking to Sidira and they're in front of the Brindleton Bay Palace. And it's so beautiful in the snow, you guys. This is going to be so, so pretty. Sidira's probably a little bit cold, but I turned off the thing where like weather affects your Sims because I didn't want it to affect the Sims because I've just had way too many deaths of Sims freezing to death and I can't handle it anymore because that's how Queen Alice died. Oh gosh, guys. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> that was so cute. Oh, I just took so many screenshots of that. Do you guys want me to like share these screenshots in an album or something for you? I would like, I have a lot of screenshots. I think the oldest screenshots I have are King Henry and his sisters, Cora and Anna. I think they were already like teenagers at that point. I don't think I have any of them from when they were really young, but you can let me know if you want me to share them and I'll try to figure out a way to do that. Okay, so I think 
Johan is now going to tell Sadira, like, look, I was going through a lot and you kind of just like brightened up my life and you've made me so happy. I'm so excited for him to propose, you guys. Okay, so he's now proposing to Sadira, you guys. Oh my god, they're so cute! Oh my gosh. Oh, I love them. I'm so excited for her to become Queen of Brindleton Bay, you guys. Oh, they're gonna be so cute together. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now Johan has to go tell his parents about the engagement. And then Prince James just got into a relationship with Lord Ian. Oh, you know what though, you guys? I am remembering now. Okay, so for those of you who saw my Realm of Magic series, King Jared, he went to the Realm of Magic with Princess Corinne and Princess Corinne became a spellcaster, but I feel like they haven't really told anyone about about her being a spellcaster. And I wonder if they're trying to keep it a secret and they were telling other people to try to keep it a secret because I know there's like a spell that lets a sim bring another sim back to life. So I wonder if he's trying to get people to not tell anyone and like keep it a secret because he doesn't want Johan to find out about that. So maybe Johan's going to like overhear that one day or something. Uh, yeah, I think so. Cause I feel like he would, cause he was like on a quest to try to bring May back to life and try to figure out some way how, and like that would be how. So I think that's going to be another thing soon. Johan's going to have to learn about that eventually, I think. And I'm sure he will definitely, definitely try to talk to Corinne and talk her into bringing May back to life. So that will definitely be interesting. So we're gonna leave that there though. Also, I did upload a few of the families to the gallery. So if you guys want to see here, I uploaded a few of the updated ones because all I had were like the older ones. So you guys can see here, I just uploaded the Oasis Springs Royal Family with Queen Nea and Prince Philip and their four kids. Cause originally it was just Queen Nea, her siblings and her parents. And then the Willow Creek Royal Family with King Edmund and Queen Cora and then Princess Corinne and Prince Louis and then their four kids. So that's a big household. You guys need to turn on this include custom content thing because if you turn it off nothing will show except for the Brindleton Bay Palace so you guys need to turn on include custom content to be able to see like all of the families because they all have custom content in them unfortunately so I just think they look so much better with custom content you guys I can't believe when I first started playing this in the first series I didn't use any custom content like that's crazy to me okay so we're gonna move on because it is almost time to throw a birthday party so we're going to have I think I'm gonna have Prince Louis throw the birthday party because I think he knows the most Sims. And I think we're actually going to have the birthday party at the Oasis Springs Royal Palace because it's like the most open and like has the most space. The, Win the Willow Creek Royal Palace, I think I am going to have to get it renovated pretty soon because it's more like a mansion more than anything. So for those of you who are new to the series, I think I did see most of you say in the comments though that you were looking to watch the whole first series. Just a warning though, the graphics aren't great. It lags a little bit. And what are you wearing, Prince Louis? Oh my, what? Oh god, I have to change that. But, and then it's it's just not as, it's not as bright. I think episode two through like 11 like lags a lot because I had the mods turned on or custom content turned on and it's just so laggy and I know it's bothering some people. So it doesn't last like that forever, you guys. I, I promise that you guys can see now. Also, if you guys wanna see like my computer specs, like what computer I have and what I use to edit my videos, that's all in the description of the video of like every video. And then it's also in my about on my channel. So you guys can see that too. And I link a few things on like Amazon as well. So yeah, anyway, okay. So we are now at the, oh no, Prince Louis. No, please change. What are you wearing? I don't understand you guys. Is there a mod to keep this from happening? Because like, this is not even any of his outfits and they just put him in this. I don't know why. So we are just gonna go ahead and get right to it and plan a social event. So we are going to have the, oh, 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 I wanna show you guys really quickly. So this is the palace. If you guys have not seen it, this is the palace of Willow Creek. It's more like a mansion than anything else. That's why I think it could be, it could definitely use some re remodeling. It's not as like extravagant as the other palaces. So we had just renovated the Windenburg Royal Palace. So I think we're gonna like renovate the Willow Creek Royal Palace and then we'll have to have them kind of stay somewhere too. The Windenburg family, they stayed at like their own like summer palace. So maybe they'll do the same thing for the Willow Creek Palace. So anyway, okay, so Prince Louis, 
Louis, he is going to plan the birthday party. And I'm gonna skip right to the birthday party so you guys don't have to see me do all like the planning and inviting people because you guys are gonna see all those sims at the birthday party anyway. Oh shoot, you guys, I just realized that I forgot to show you guys the Sunday markets because the royalty mod came out with some Sunday markets. Also, I've seen a lot of comments in my royalty mod video, like technical questions that I don't know. You guys are gonna have to contact the creator. You guys, I'm pretty sure can like reach him on Tumblr to ask him any questions. His username is in the description because I forgot how to pronounce it, but it's like lazy nim, nim, knife, lazy, I don't know, but it's in the description. So if anything regarding like it not working or something, it was working for me. So I don't know why it wouldn't be working for some people, but that's just because I don't know anything about that stuff. So I am so sorry. It was just a mod review. It seemed to be working for me. Anything else, you guys will have to contact the creator. But anyway, okay, so we are now starting our birthday party. So everyone is coming on in. So we have our birthday cakes ready. Oh yeah, but I forgot to do the Sunday markets. Um, It's Monday now and you can't really go back. So uh, next Sunday, I'll try to remember. Maybe I'll create like an event to remind me. Okay, so that way it's in the calendar and that way I won't forget about it, the Sunday market, so we can actually go check that out. Cause we gotta do the Royal Banquet in the last episode. Oh, this is Lady Hazel of Brindleton Bay, you guys. She was one of the families I was missing. So she's actually at the birthday party. This is Princess Diana of Windenburg. We have Prince James, Prince Charles of Windenburg, he's here. And then we have Corinne's brother. This is Lord Nathaniel, you guys. This is is Corinne's younger brother. So that's Lord Nathaniel. We have Princess Amira is here. And then Princess Corinne as well, obviously, because it's the whole house. We have Empress Mei Lin. And then we have Lady Aurora. So we have a ton, Lady Sadira is here too. So yeah, we have a ton of people here. I don't know if Johan and Sadira are gonna announce their engagement. I guess they can announce their engagement because I mean, it just happened, but like now it's a birthday party. I feel like they just don't want to take like the attention away from all of the birthday sims. There's like four, there's Jared, or King Jared, King Edmund, and then Prince Cornelius and Lady Arya. So it's like two heirs and two kings. This is a really grand birthday party, you guys. But this is the Palace of Oasis Springs. I know it's dark right now, so you can't really see the outside of it. The outside isn't like my favorite. Like I feel like I could use a little bit of work, but the inside of it is like my favorite thing ever. This right here was some custom content that I had found. And I mean, look at this bed, you guys. Isn't this the coolest thing ever? This is the coolest bed ever. I love it so, so much. I love this custom content. Also, you can find out my custom content on my Pinterest board. My Pinterest board is in the link in the description below. And then most of the custom content from the Glimmerbrook Royal Family and from the Selva Dorada Royal Family, those are on my Tumblr because that's where I found it and I hadn't had time to like transfer it over to my Pinterest board yet. I started a little bit today, but I don't, I haven't done all of it yet. But my Tumblr is also in the description below. You guys just look in the description below for all the information you need because most of it is there. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and just start doing the birthday. So I have two cakes here. We got a nice tiered cake, a gourmet tiered cake made by Queen Cora. And then we have a winter cake made by Princess Corinne. So Princess Corinne still has some cooking levels to go. But why don't we go ahead and we're going to help blow out candles. We're gonna help Cornelius blow out the candles. I changed their names just to upload them to the gallery to their full names without like prince or princess in front of them because I wanted to upload them to the gallery without their names being like weird and short. So you guys can add them if you want if you have the longer names mod I'll probably change it to like princess and prince later or you know what I can just start doing that now um, Because actually no, I'm not gonna do it now because I know I'm going to have to fix Prince Cornelius's outfit when he ages up because it always ends up being something weird. I did have some people say like, what if you just put an abbreviation in front of it? Just like PR Cornelius or something. I don't, I guess I could. I just, I don't know. I like when, like, if they pass away, like, especially before I've been able to, like, change it, that it does say, like, Princess Corn, like, Prince Cornelius or something like that. So that's the reason why. But I don't know. If I, I it hasn't bothered me much in the past, like, over 100 episodes. So I don't know if I will change it anytime soon, but maybe I will if it gets on my nerves. But King Edmund is blowing out the candles first. Oh gosh, guys. All the kings, they're gonna age up into elders. This is a huge thing. I think King Edmund was actually a little bit younger than Jared and Henry, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm pretty sure he was younger than them. Okay, so King Edmund has aged up. So now he's an elder, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh, okay, I have to add birthday candles before someone takes a slice of this cake. So I do want King Jared to age up before everyone starts eating the cake. And then I'm also going to use this cake for Princess Arya to age up as well. Okay, so Cornelius is now aging up into a child, you guys. 
Oh gosh, what ridiculous outfit are they going to put on him? Okay, so uh, Cornelius is aged up. So he gained one motor skill level and one creativity skill level. So he was fussy. I'm kind of thinking because I remember Cornelius being like super jealous and super fussy and always throwing tantrums, especially when his siblings, like his sisters were born. It's like all the attention wasn't on him anymore. So I'm kind of thinking he'd be, well, first I think he would get the social aspiration just because he wants that like social interactions or he wants, yeah, he wants social interactions. But I was kind of thinking maybe he would be hot-headed. So I, I, most of the kings we have are like pretty good, very well liked by the people. I don't want Cornelius to be bad though, you got, I, uh, should I do random? Then it could just pick for itself. No way. <laughs> We got hot-headed! Are you serious? Okay, all right, well, I guess that settles it then. Seriously, what are the odds out of like all the- like how many traits are there? There's a ton of traits. I guess it was meant to be you guys. Cornelius is hot-headed. His outfit needs to be changed 100%. I don't want him to wear that. Okay, so now we are going to have Princess Arya age up and I also want King Jared to age up too. So we're gonna age up Sim and then I need to find, is King Jared? Oh yeah, there he is. Okay, so King Jared. So we're gonna age him up and then I am going to have Prince Louis. He is going to help Princess Arya blow out the candles. So guys, just like a ton of birthday parties happening at once. I think the next people to age up are Princess Genevieve, who's right here, and Princess Kimberly of Oasis Springs, which is the second oldest child. I was supposed to make a list of who the oldest are and like their order of ages, and I totally forgot. So I'm gonna have to go back and like watch all my episodes and try to figure out what the order of, of all the kids are. Okay, so King Jared is now aging up into an elder, you guys. <gasps> this is crazy. All of the kings, they're all aging up, you guys. Oh. Oh gosh, all right, King Jared has aged up into an elder. I'm glad they don't change their clothes once they become an elder. That's like really nice. Oh, and then, yeah, so we also have Duchess, uh, not Duchess, well, yeah, Duchess Lily. This is Princess Corinne's mother. So I'm gonna have Corinne actually talk to her. Um, so we have Duchess Lily here and we have her whole family here too. Her dad is here. So basically, if you guys saw the Roman Magic series, so Corinne has told her parents about uh, the Emperor, Emperor Zhao, helping her find them and helping her save them. And Lily obviously like didn't really like, oh gosh, Queen A, you have to go to the bathroom. Um, she didn't really like uh, Emperor Zhao because they were an arranged marriage growing up. And then she ended up running away. So she thanked Emperor Zhao, they all did. So they've kind of been talking to them a little bit more. Like Emperor Zhao, he loved Duchess Lily when, or Corinne's mother when he was like younger. He's not like still in love with her, but I think he just like wanted to help her. Okay, so now we just have Prince Louis helping Lady, or Princess Arya age up and blow out the candles because we're not playing from her parents' point of view. So that's why Prince Louis is doing it. So she's now aging up. Up. I need to change her clothes. I definitely need to change her outfits. Oh yeah, now we can call everyone to the meal. So now everyone can help themselves to some cake. So this was a fun little birthday party. Oh, and then this is Lady Marjorie. This is Princess Corinne's sister. I think she's a teenager, right? Oh, okay. They're all like in each other right now. Oh, and then here's Queen Lindsay, you guys. So she wasn't at uh, King Henry's birthday party, but she's at this birthday party because this is her grandchild. Lady Arya is her grand, or Princess Arya. God, why do I keep saying that? Princess Arya is her grandchild. So that's why she's like here at their birthday. Okay, and Prince Charles, I think went in the sauna because now he is just in a towel at the royal birthday party, but it's fine. Okay, so this is a lot of fun. So now guys, I think we're going to, oh gosh, it's 3 a.m. Yeah, we should probably end this birthday party, but we're actually going to go ahead to Sulani. So I'm gonna end this birthday party here. So let everyone have their fun. Um, and then we're going to go to Sulani because we need to focus. We're first, we're gonna play from Makai's point of view because Princess Leilana has told Makai to come over. Leilana is Makai's cousin and they're actually really close. They're basically brother and sister, like they grew up together. Makai's mother is Princess Leilana's father's sister. So yeah, so uh, Leilana has told Makai to come over. Like, I need to talk to you about something. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we are playing from Makai's point of view and we are at the royal family of Sulani's palace because his cousin Leilana said, hey, I need to talk to you. 
So he's here. Um, so I need to find Leilana. Is she even here? Okay, so I feel like uh, um, Leilana is telling Makai, like, okay, so I was at uh, King Henry's birthday party. So Leilana is actually friends with Amira and best friends with Makai. I mean, it's basically her brother. So I feel like she's the only one who knows about their secret relationship. Like, no one else really knows about that. And Amira knows she knows. Like, they feel like they can trust her. Like, they feel like they, like, had to kind of tell somebody. So Leilana knows about it. And I feel like she's telling him, like, so I saw the Prince of Silver Dorada, Jabari. I saw him and Amira talking and he seemed just super into Amira. And like, I heard that he like just got out of a relationship a few months ago. So like, maybe he might be super into Amira. And she's saying like Amira wasn't doing anything. Like Amira wasn't flirting with him or anything, but they seem to be getting along pretty well. And I feel like she's telling him like, look, you need to, oh gosh, she shouldn't go to the bathroom. But I feel like Lilana's telling Makai like, look, you need to just figure it out with Hannah. And like, if you're not gonna be happy with Hannah and you don't wanna marry her, then don't marry her. Like you need to tell her that you can't keep leading on Amira because you're gonna lose Amira if you keep leading her on. You can't do that. I know you're just trying to postpone the wedding with Hannah because you're scared of your mother and you're scared of Han like hurting Hannah, but like you're gonna hurt Amira and you're gonna lose her to someone else. So you need to do something about it. And I feel like she's also saying like, if you're really scared of your mother, just have my father talk to her and make her not scared. Cause if anyone can convince her to not be scary, it's probably my father. So you just, just say the word and like, I'll talk to him. So I feel like this is kind of like finally knocking some sense into Makai. And Makai is like realizing like, oh my gosh, I am going to lose Amira. I need to fix this. I need to break up with Hannah. Like finally realizing that he needs to break up with Hannah. So I think that's what he's gonna go do. He's gonna go to Hannah's and break up with her. And Hannah actually lives over here. So their family, I think I mentioned this before, but their family was super close with Makai's family growing up. And Hannah's just always had like this huge crush on him. So they're at Oz, they also live in Sulani. So he's gonna go travel there, try to talk to her alone and try to break up with her. Okay, so Makai is here at Hannah's house. Oh gosh, it's a gorgeous day, you guys. Like, look at this, look how pretty this is. Oh, I love Sulani. Every time I come anywhere in Sulani, I'm just like, look at the view, it's so gorgeous. Okay, I don't know why I'm not able to knock on the door. This is weird. Wait, what the heck? Hello? Can someone let me in the house? Why can't Makai knock on the door? If I bring one of his family members here, can they knock on the door? Whoa, what the heck? Okay, well, I guess Kona, his little brother is gonna knock on the door for him and then he's just gonna go home. <laughs> Thanks brother, that's good. Okay, so I found Hannah. Yeah, we just need to talk to her. I don't know, you should probably try to be friendly at first. Although I don't get very many friendly interactions for her and I don't know why. Oh my God, whoa guys. Head is feeling very angry and there's an unpleasant conversation between them already. You just got here, what happened? I guess things are already really tense between them. Although she's already very angry. What's gonna happen if we break up with her? Oh gosh, you guys. We're going to have to, uh, I don't know. Um, I guess share photos or something. Um, we're gonna have to get her alone because I don't want him to do this in front of her family. So why don't you go ahead and just sit and chat over here. Maybe she knows about Amira, you guys, or maybe she's sensing something maybe. Maybe that's why she's so angry. But Makai is just, I feel like trying to talk to her and being like, is this really the right thing? Like, you know, you and I aren't close. Although I feel like Hannah, like she knows Makai doesn't love her, but I feel like she was hoping he would fall in love with her. So I feel like that's why she wanted to do a whole arranged marriage thing, but she's so angry. And I'm pretty sure she has like a jealous trait or something like that. She does guys. One of her traits is jealous. So maybe she's just like super jealous about something. Oh gosh, you guys. Okay, so now they're talking. And yeah, I think Makai's just like, like as he said, like I don't think things are really working. Oh, oh, okay, Makai, you don't have to be like mean about it. Oh my gosh. Aw, poor Hannah though. Like she's just like had a crush on Makai, but like she needs to move on. Okay, now I think he's going to break up with her. It's probably not a good thing to break up with someone who's already angry, you guys. I feel like that's not the best. Oh, oh, you guys. Oh, he did it. He broke up with her. <gasps> oh yeah. Well, you know what? I'm just glad that this made Makai realize that he needs to go for Amira and that he's like, realizing now, like even though it took someone else flirting with Amira to do it, like I'm just glad that it worked because I think that he did need to realize that. Like if you're 
in a arranged marriage that you don't want to be in. Like, just break up with her. It's not like you love the person too. Like, it's not like you're choosing between two people. I think it was just his mother he was scared of and hurting her like this. Now she's yelling at like a little unicorn stuffed animal. Well, you know what? Now Makai can tell Amira that he actually loves her and that he wants to be with her. And that now he's realizing though, that even though like, he, like, everyone thought too, like, he doesn't really fit in Windenburg. He feels like he can still do it just to be with Amira. So at least he can, like, finally tell her that now. Because I think... <gasps> oh my god, you guys. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Did he just kill her? <gasps> oh my god. God, you guys, she got so jealous. She got so angry and died. She got so angry, she died. <gasps> That's why she died, right? Because she was so enraged. Oh my God, he just killed her. Oh my God, I should not have broken up with her when she was angry already. Oh, I feel so bad for her family now. Oh my God, Makai. Oh, I actually feel really bad for her. I mean, he broke up with her before and like her parents didn't even know about it yet, but she was just so angry. And so jealous, I guess. Oh my god, okay. Oh, now Makai is sad. He feels horrible. He probably feels horrible. Makai is like a good person. Like, he just, he just did this and he didn't mean to do this. And like, like, he's like, oh my god, what situation have I been in now? So that's our first death of the season. That was very unexpected. And I was not, did not think that was gonna happen if Makai broke up with her when she was angry. Oh my god, okay. So, I guess in the next episode, we're gonna have to try to figure out what happens. I think though Amira and Jabari are still friends. Like, I feel like Amira wants to know more about the world and of course wants to learn more about the different kingdoms, especially since she's gonna become the ruler of Windenburg. She wants to like, be able to like, reach out to the other kingdoms as well. So, I feel like maybe Jabari had like, offered to show her around Selva Dorada and they're like, becoming friends. And then Makai has to deal with this whole situation too. So we're gonna have to figure this out in the next episode, you guys. So, if you enjoyed this episode, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that like button, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!